Hi everyone, today I'm out and about with a couple of box cameras. Um, the audio might not be great on this video because I've lost my microphone. I'm not too sure where it is. But I'm going to do some urban -y pictures with an uh, Agfaclac and a Kodak Brownie. And they're both loaded with paper, Ilford paper because I like to do paper negatives. So I'm gonna have a little look around, see what I can take a picture of. I really don't have a clue right now, but let's go and have a look. In kind of more of a grungy area today, there's a plastics company over here, and they made little men out of uh, plastic piping, stuff like that. So I might take an image of that. Let's go and have a look at it. And lo and behold, I don't have them anymore. Oh, well, that's typical. So those plastic figurines were not there. Either they've stopped having them out, maybe somebody nicked them, or just because the place is shut, because today is Sunday. Um, they're not there, so maybe another time. I've got to go and look for something else now. Not sure what. So I'll run down pub here. Maybe there's something here where I can do a picture of. Now what always makes me laugh is this little welcome sign actually because look at the state of it I wonder if I could do something like this So this is a Kodak Brownie Flash B. It's one of the few brownies, actually I think it's the only brownie, that's actually brown. It's got a nice little handle. And uh, you have a viewfinder here. And a viewfinder here. So if you want landscape, you have it this way. You've got a viewfinder there. If you want a portrait, you've got it like that. And uh, the aperture is something like f11 and I only did a couple of seconds. I used it in bulb mode. On mine it seems to jam in the bulb mode. So the shutter speed can be 1 80th or 1 40th or we can have bulb. Apparently you're supposed to use 1 40th with a flash. Like you would use a flash with this. Hand holding is absolutely impossible with these box cameras. Don't know how they did it in the old days but they did. Uh, there's no tripod mount at all on it. So, yeah, it's uh, quite a tricky little camera to use. But I do like the look of it. It's a nice looking little camera. So I took that image. Fingers crossed that came out. And uh, got a little bit of humour about it, I suppose. Uh, let's uh, have a look at the other camera I got and see what else I can take a picture of. Got the Kodak Brownie and I've got my Agfa Clack. You've seen me use this before in a previous video. And uh, there's no film in it, of course, I've got paper in it and I've got it in bulb mode and in this current environment it's a little bit cloudy but still kind of bright. It only takes a couple of seconds of exposure, hopefully, uh, it's like f11 and depending on what I take a picture of really, um, not too sure, but I'm going to have a look. So, so long derelict pub. Like many derelict pubs, post pandemic. Now, I saw a dumped vintage car on a little walkabout. So, let's have a look. Now, when I say vintage car, I actually mean something from the 80s, I believe. Now, I presume it's dumped because I think it's got a uh, lock on the wheel and it's looking a bit run down and tired so let's go and check that out see if I can get an image of that 
classic TR7 Triumph look. Stay at that. Now the problem I got with this old clack is no matter what tripod I use, you'll see in a minute, it still swings about like this. So making it stable is absolutely impossible. But I'll give it a shot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, done that one. Fingers crossed that worked. Let me put my hand over it. Probably didn't, but we'll see. Eh? I gave that a five second exposure. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see, won't we? Those two box cameras are done. Now the next thing I'm going to go and do is take a couple of pinhole cameras down to an industrial estate and uh, get a couple more pictures done just to bolt this video out. I've got a little project on the side. I want to make a large format pinhole camera. And whilst walking around I found this old paint drum here. Look, a big old one. So, uh, I'm going to convert that into a pinhole at some point. That'll be fun. So I rode around this industrial estate and uh, they have a few little waterfalls here which are quite nice. And uh, lots of lily pads. Lots of very interesting things I could take images of. So I've just done some with a box camera. Now I'm going to do some with pinhole cameras. And I've got the uh, 4x10, the uh, Ilford Obscura, and my zero image 6x6. Six six. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do 4x10 with this one, because I quite like the look of it. Got, got the man bag. Bit of a long exposure, it's about 30 minutes. We might have to sit down and have a little chill out. Got a stopwatch on. Let's leave it there. I'm actually going to go and ride around a little bit. I'm just keep an eye on it. Why not? So it's not the only waterfall that you got around here. I'm going to take the Ilford Obscura and plonk it down here. Look. Let's have a look. So there's another one here with some lily pads. I'm going to try and stick the Obscura here. And then just leave that again for a minute or so. So the last thing I'm looking for is a spiral staircase. I think I saw one down here, down here somewhere. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to quickly check the light meter on this one.
It's about 20 minutes. Stop what's back on. So, let's go and find that spiral staircase. So there you go, spirally staircase. So I'm going to put the zero image right on the bottom of this. So let's go and see what the uh, 4x10 is doing. Now we're about 15 minutes in. So I just double checked the light meter and uh, now it says about 15 or so minutes. The problem is it's very variable in terms of light so what we can do is do a happy medium. We'll do something like 20 minutes. So as you can see the guidelines there so it should go all the way across here to the reeds like that. And they're all the way across there, maybe to those other reeds over there. Fingers crossed. So yeah, it's kind of a cliche doing waterfalls for pinhole photography, but you know. It is a very pretty looking thing, so why not? So I'm going to go and close it down now. Hopefully it'll come up. Better go and retrieve the other pinhole cameras. Hopefully they haven't been nicked. I think exposure time we're close enough. I don't know if this one's going to work. And there you go. All done. All done. So let's see what the pictures come out like.